You may have heard the term dash to axle and been unclear as to its meaning. The expression describes the distance from the front axle to the base of the A-pillar on a car. The earliest automobiles were actually just horse-drawn carriages with an explosive engine-style device replacing the sometimes explosive equine slave animal. For safety, the engines in these early motor vehicles were positioned under the occupants to assure their quick and near painless deaths in the event of an engine failure. When the wheels moved up front and the cabin shifted to behind the engine, the dash axle relationship was actually created. By the middle of the 1920s, most popularly priced family cars were powered by inline four cylinder engines. But as engines increased in both size and cylinder count to be inline sixes, eights, eventually V8s, V12s, and even V16s, the larger power plants necessitated greater dash to axle measurements. By the middle of the 1930s, a long dash to axle was part of the architecture of any luxury or performance car. After World War II, dash to axle was used to differentiate trim lines within the same brand by adding wheelbase ahead of the passenger compartment. It didn't increase the cabin size, but you sure could tell the difference between a Buick Century and a Buick Roadmaster. In spite of what many think, initially, front wheel drive actually lengthened the dash to axle measure. Early front wheel drive cars positioned the transaxle ahead of the engine, moving the front wheels even further forward. But in the early 1950s, front drive with the engine placed ahead of the gearbox appeared and the front wheels began to move closer to the cabin. Transverse front wheel drive pioneered on the ADO 15, Austin 7 and Morris Mini Miner appeared in 1959 and it brought the driving wheels virtually into contact with the leading edge of the front doors. Nowadays, a long dash to axle relationship connotes something more than an entry level car. We can thank the BMW 3 Series for that. Just as it was in the 1930s, a long dash to axle telegraphs a certain importance or exclusivity to a car today. This has some people thinking you can't have a serious luxury car or a flagship that doesn't exhibit an extraordinarily long dash to axle relationship, and that's bunk. If you doubt it, just look at the Audi A8 that's based off a front wheel drive architecture and has a pretty short dash to axle. That car is definitely a range topper. Like most design elements, it's the combination and balance of them that makes a car work visually or not. So that's the straight skinny on dash to axle. For Autoline Design Handbook, I'm Jim Hall.